with Module 4, which is composed of two chapters. The first chapter will be fractions. Um, again, in the past, fraction seems to be the start of stress. That would be in grade 2. Um, more, most of the adults will also say that they don't like fractions. So hopefully with practice and hopefully with the correct teaching, it will make more sense so that you can teach to your kids easily. Okay, so a fraction is composed of a numerator and a denominator. Okay, so a fraction. Okay, so um, this lesson entails equivalent or similar fractions. Okay, so equivalent. Okay, so for equivalent fractions, what we need to do is they look different, but what happens is they're actually the same fractions. So to find the equivalent fraction, what you need to do is to multiply the numerator and the denominator, or most of the times I'll say top and bottom. You multiply the top and bottom by the same number. But for similar fractions, what you do is you technically divide, okay, with a uh, divide top and bottom with the same number. Okay, so which means, or this is similar or simplified fraction. Okay, so um, we will start with uh, this lesson. I took problems from two different pages. The first is from page 58. Okay, so problem number two says, find the equivalent fractions. Okay, so um, in this problem, there are visual aids. But again, parents, please remember that not all uh, problems will have visual aids. Okay, so it says, okay, so again, it says, find the equivalent fractions. Okay, so clearly, if we start with a denominator, to get from 5 to 10, that's a times 2. So if we multiply the denominator or the bottom by 2, we need to multiply the top by 2. So that makes it times 2. So that means this is equivalent 2 fifth is equivalent to 4 tenth. Okay, so they're, they look different, but they're actually the same. Okay, so if you look at the next one, this clearly is a times 3. So, which means if I multiply the denominator by 3, I got to multiply the numerator by 3 as well. So, that means this is 6 over 15. So, 2 fifths two fifth is equivalent to 4 tenth and 6 fifteenth. Okay, in the next set of problems, they come from page 62. Okay, on page 62, it says, uh, problem number 7. Okay, it says... Find the equivalent fractions. Okay, so this is number 7, letter C. Okay, so this is 1. Okay, so we know that any whole number, for in this case, 1, is technically a fraction. It's a fraction because it's 1 over 1. Okay, so... And put it here, so this is technically 1 over 1. Okay, so which means the equivalent of this, since I multiplied by 2, this will also be multiplied by 2. So this is 2 over 2. Similarly, if I, this is over 3. Similarly, I multiply by 3, the denominator, which means I'll have to multiply the numerator by 3 as well which means this is also a 3. So any number over the same number is equivalent to 1. Okay, so another number that I've selected would be number 8. Okay, in number 8, it says, find the simplest form of the following. So this is technically simplified form. So in number 8 of the same page, 
number 62, it says, find the simplest form of the following fractions. So again, to find the equivalent, we multiply. To find the simplified or simplest form, we will have to divide by the uh, same number on the numerator and the denominator. Okay, so looking at the problems, this is 4 over 12 and 4 over 6. Okay, so I know that I can divide both of these by 4. Therefore, what we do is we divide top and bottom by 4. So the simplified form or the simplest form of 4 over 12 will be 1 over 3. Okay, making them again similar fractions or equivalent fractions. Okay, so then here what happens is this is divided by 2 and divide by 2. So if we divide, this will be 2 over 3. Now, if it's hard for the kids to find the value to divide by, do it in small steps. So we know that example, this, these two are even. So they can be divided by 2 first and then divide again by another 2. Okay, so again, we do not need to pressure our kids. We need them to enjoy Okay, so which means if it takes little steps like 4 over 12 divided by 2, which means this is 2 over 6 and another divided by 2, which means this is 1 over 3, then allow them to do so. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? So again, key here is the kids need to know their multiplication tables really well. That concludes lesson one of chapter 12. See you in the next lesson.